All right, here we are. We've got the game. Um, Underworld versus Woodies. Um, pretty good. All right, let's let's fingers crossed. All the bugs are fixed, and there'll be no money, no fan factor, no star player points. Yeah, war dances are ridiculous. War dances are completely ridiculous. Like it's. They're insane. They're completely insane. And especially in NAF style, where other teams don't get to stack skills, and they've started with three stacking already. Like, that's the crazy thing, isn't it? That's the crazy thing about War Dancers, is... <laughs> Let's go. Let's hope it's working. <laughs> that's the biggest thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Nice. He's got a tackler. Dirty dingo. I guess I could put the block on there, protect him a bit. got a throw hasn't he? he's got the sure hands against the uh, strip but got a tackle to hit the goblins so I guess that'll be the main the main thing they fixed the air uh, they fixed the saving saving your formation pauses the game which is good So yeah, right, I should have looked at his team shouldn't have before it started, but I'd already seen it because I'd just approved it. But for the benefit of those watching on YouTube, um, because Wood Elves are a tier 1 team, I get 6 normal skills, which is dodge on 2 linemen, block on a catcher, leader on a thrower, tackle on ward, 1 war dancer, and strip on the other war dancer. He has got 7 normals and 1 double because Underworld are tier 2. And he has gone with, for his double guard on a line, on a lineman, and then block on a thrower, block on both throwers, uh, mighty blow on one of the blitzers, tackle on the other. All right, claw on the, claw on the troll. So actually, putting my uh, line, putting my tree on the LOS is a bit risky here, isn't it? Maybe I should have thought that through a bit more. And two heads on a on a goblin by the looks of it. Well, the thing is, Stumper BB, um, <laughs> Clad has still got the, uh, Clad has still got the, um, still got the money involved, hasn't it? So, oh, yeah, he's getting to claw my tree. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. On oh, wrestle, he's got wrestle on the line. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't have put the tree on the yellow essay. Eh? Should have thought that through. If I'd actually looked at the teams, even though I didn't look at the teams because I'd already. Um, I had already seen the team. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play both, but it's gonna mean maybe it'll mean less. No, no, the money's still in. Uh, the, the the money was only out for the last one because it was a shortened season. You know, waiting the and the and the all the bugs. You know, it was a short season, and they wanted to fix all the bugs. Oh shit! Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have. Um, Maybe I shouldn't have put my tree there. Okay. Phew. Escape with a stun. I guess he will foul though, seeing as he's got goblins. Oh. Might not matter. Right. Let's go, stupid. Um, tag him with a non-dodger. Right, so that's that's 
That's all. Oh, he caught it with a goblin. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, man. Pay attention to what's going on in the game. Pro tip. Right. So there's a bit of a... Uh, protecting down that side now, then. <laughs> yeah, my non-dodger does have to. It wasn't non-dodger, isn't what I meant to say. Not not good player. Non-positional is. <laughs> yeah, non-positional because obviously, you know, I didn't want to tag him with um, a catcher or the leader or anything. So. And now he's tagged by a non-dodger. <laughs> I didn't even see that his goblin had caught that pickle. I was like moving for the kill while he's got to pick up the ball again, but I guess he's going to mighty blow this ward answer now and probably still just cage up here. So that was a bit shit. Yeah, the underworld troll is really good. People who would not want to take, would want to take tentacles on him or not take you know, take guard first or stand firm first, or crazy for me. Who, if you want to go technicals or guard or stand firm first, on a guy who can get claw mighty blow after his first level, I just think you're a bit crazy. You gotta go claw, even though like, like the chaos mino always goes claw first because he's blitzing a lot because he's got wild animal. So like that's fair enough. People tend to do that, but because he's a more of a roadblock type, I just still don't care. He can get claw super fast, so I would just take claw super fast. <laughs> Fluffy burrito. I don't. Uh, do you think? Do you think? Would else have a high skill cap? I wouldn't go that far. No more than any other team. No more or less than any other team. I don't think. I think they're all teams are the same. Yeah, like that's the thing. It, it's obviously, it's more obvious to take claw on the minor because they have wild animals. They have to blitz. So. You know, but um, but still, I would still just always go claw first. Let me try. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, leap GFI to get the ball, or one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So no GFI to get it with um to get tackle on. But how do you stop the assist if you don't if it's not with him? Alright, stand him up first. No. No, of course. Of course he fails the route and the stand up. Um Could just jump in this way in one dice, but I'd rather push him to here anyway, wouldn't I? Or here for the recovery. Three plus two plus to, to hit the ball is pretty good. Fuck it, you only live twice. I mean, the fact that he is, uh, he is like he is exposed, isn't he? Like he's 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 split his team in half already. This catcher can try the. Um, recovery or this one can do something. <laughs> oh man, if he caught it, that would be oh shit, he caught it. Um. Hmm. Wanna do a four plus dodge? If he surfs me, you can bl blitz with him and then surf with him. Or blitz with him and surf with him. And then still dodge somewhere. 
but it's it's looking pretty risky for him if he does I think so I think just put him there and uh, hope to shut him down from like you know doing stuff pretty good occupying him I guess oh not good that there's a tackle of that he could tag him I guess then he's got dodge hasn't he then he could go for the basing people like if everyone's based it's hard for him to do stuff isn't it it's hard for him to keep the ball safe here this turn even if he serves that war dancer it's going to be hard for him to see, keep the ball safe. Yeah, general cheeriness, yeah. Yeah, if he didn't have tackle, I would have gone for the dodge through and then, you know, screened off all this. But as it is, I'm giving up a lot of 2db. It's huge. It is It is huge. Yeah, you're right, Valene. Pretty good, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh no, it wasn't a fail. Shit. I'd have been amazing if this turn had started off with <laughs> with a one in nine. Like he can easily get a one D surf here. Maybe I should have made the GFI with the uh, war dancer. But if he if he gets the surf, it's just hard for him, isn't it? Like, it really is hard for him to keep the ball safe if he gets the serve. Using these what else tomorrow actually this this exact team funny this is this is the European practice team and the European team will be playing oh god look at that powered by mighty blow maybe I really should have made that GFI but then you know I could have made the GFI and the dodge fail fail either one of them and then died and I would have thought it was the wrong play wouldn't I? As I thought, tagging, tagging the ball, make sure he can't sneak up, sneak forward. Like he could still try. Cage corner in contact isn't great, is it for him? Done the right thing. Huge. I think I just go for another leap in. As as more ironic as it is. GFI, and it's just a leap, and then he pushes it towards all my players, doesn't he? Which is uh, really good. Brilliant. Start the turn off with a one. Yeah, the, the Bretonians might become eligible later. <laughs> My, um, it's only I, I need to update it. Um, mm. I don't want to fail the leap now, do I? Do I still go for it? I really wanted the reroll on the leap. <laughs> 
Um, I guess jam in with people here. Don't want him to come back and join the fight. I'd like keeping them separated. Don't want to give up a mighty blow hit for no reason. Maybe just screen off with these guys. Just so that it is screened off. Failing this leap will hurt. Oh baby. That's a bastard, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> the tackle being in the right place is problematic, isn't it? Use dodge anyway. <laughs> Just pass to this guy. That's a four two, that's a four three two. Has to be like a fucking five or something. Using the dodge, though, I mean, it's fucking dodgy, though, isn't it? He's in a good spot. His tackle's in an amazing spot. But I mean, guess the, the scatter was unlucky, you could say, if it'd gone there or there. Um, four, three, two, or just four, two. Then he, he's gonna he's gonna struggle to. I run out of time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, I think I should have maybe gone for the three-two. I think that was maybe the best idea, because he would have, he would have struggled to. Oh no, he could have freed up the wrestle all easily. There you go. With those dice rolls, I would have made the dodges as well. Would have made the dodges with the next two dice. The next four dice would have been safe. Shit. Ah. Wow. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that was that was the thing. It was it's it wasn't it wasn't that bad to run out of time because yeah, at least he had to roll dice to get it. Mind you, was obviously the odds were with him to get it. But obviously failing the dodge failing the dodge and putting it on the floor would have been awful. He was only fifty-five to get it with a uh, with a tackle and thirty with a non-tackle. Fucking hell, reckon us with his mighty blow, isn't he? Not only two players. Yeah, five plus pass, maybe. But then you obviously you you run the risk of getting intercepted, which would have been horrible. Oh, I could put it with a gain skills and it's oh that's how I would have been able to know what what he'd got. Yeah, it's just the two stuns as well, isn't it? That's the thing that made it seem worse than what it was. So like four players out and and this guy as well. So it it feels like I've it it feels like I've got no players because two stunned, two KO'd, and one. You know, just one who's a piece of shit. Yeah, I think I like the 4-2 the most. But, 
I think he would have had a, needed GFI as well because it was a 4-2. He just makes a two-dice block to get the wrestle onto him, which would then push him into the tackler. So, um, yeah, there is that. And he's randomly fucking got the ball on a thrower. That's disappointing, isn't it? If it had been on this guy, it would have been all right. I don't really want to make... I could make a leap in um, from him for a chain onto him. Which could be the best idea, really. Or, or else, how do I get the ball? But then that leap is interesting to one to you. No, he could. Like, I can't get two dice on it, can I? I? Can't get two dice on the ball. So I could just leap into one dice. Or could try to be less fucking crazy. I'll leap there and push him to here. That's not good, is it? But I think I'm just going to carry on. Carry on being a bit of a fucking dickhead. Leap every turn. That was a great that's a great push square to be fair. He's got tackle there though. go there maybe so roll the one shit um right <laughs> also fantastic yeah the full novelas the um the mirror return right how do you make coaches respect rules i don't know what rules you mean jelly or like the team creation it's manual um thing doesn't it um you don't have to be a naff member to join the ladder no troll tig um i don't know if you have to be a naff member to do naff tournaments but definitely not to do the ladder this is naff ladder yeah fluffy burrito Math ladder. Oof. Oh, Jelly hasn't got audio. Fuck me. <laughs> Man, fucking. Imagine getting two dice by a goblin. Holy shit. Like, to be fair, that two plus dodge would have made him pretty safe. Because you would have had to make two GFIs to get around this side then, wouldn't he? Ooh. Cheeky. Pretty good bounce, maybe, because could maybe power that troll. And then get a war dancer involved.
Ah, uh-huh, yes, Will King. Yeah, <laughs> because it was 1280 because you got the fan factor, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking shit, innit? Here comes the horrible hit now, and it tackle on the war dancer. His, uh, his bad times. Oh, he's got two TZs in the ball. Minimum, but I can scatter it with the tree. Yeah, powered anyway. Oh, he's get he's get the recovery now, doesn't he? He gets the fucking throw recovery. Holy shit! And it's kind of in a cage. Though I'll have the assist from the tree. That is the idea, yeah, Joel. If we can, if we can, if we can just reset it, and then, um, like, without kicking people out. If we've got to kick people out to reset it, then won't reset it. Um, but if you can reset it without kicking people out, then. Yeah, reset it in season with a CL, yeah. Why not? We run out of time. Four, five, six, seven, G, five, G. That's pretty horrible, isn't it? Four, five. Leap, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just want to make a block first, even though it will destroy me if it's a failure. So I guess have to make some safe moves first. He could just leap out and get 2D. He leaps for the 2D. That's the way, isn't it? Him getting banged on by tackle sucks. I can't follow to get the assist. Dickhead. <laughs> oh man, being rooted is a killer there. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he he leaps to assist. And then he either dodges or leaps, depending on whether I've used the reroll. There you go. Just a sweet little failure. Wow, he's going to score. <laughs> After all that, he's just going to fucking run away and score. Oh man, if only I could have reroll. I mean, I would have still failed the leap, so. I mean, he could have got surfed as well, so... Mm. Sad moves first. Oh well, good luck, Waitrix. I mean, to be fair, I've fucking leaped every single turn, so I had to fail one of them. So, like, I'm not really salty at failing that dodge. But, um, after just hurling people at the cage every turn, you would have hoped something better than this would have happened, wouldn't you? And that rooting was actually brutal. Yeah, don't... Yeah, exactly, Valena, yeah. Yeah, Chaos Pack don't exist to this, so yeah. Yeah, exactly, Maya. I mean, there's, you can't even replicate... I guess you could replicate Chaos Pact. No, you couldn't have mutations, so no. You couldn't really even replicate Pact. Mm 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, I hate leaping with, with, with Woodies, to be honest. Like, it, it should be a desperation play, shouldn't it? And I've just done it every turn since turn one, just because the first turn, just because he had the ball and a goblin, didn't it? It was such a juicy target. That was the thing. You know, it was the fact that I was having two dice with tackle against an armor seven stunty player. It was such a juicy target. I'll strip either strip on him, didn't I? It was such a juicy target that I, and and I'd split his team in two, whereas now his team isn't split in two anymore. Um and he's got the ball in a sure hands player. So <laughs> now it's the leaps aren't looking so good. But then it, again it was a way to two dice the ball, wasn't it? Whereas now, it's again looking like a leap for a 2D. It's going to be possible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI. Leap for a 2D. Oh no, just dodge for a 2D. 1, 2, alright. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, just dodges and GFIs for a 2D on the ball. Alright. Safe moves first. Um. All right. Some classic safe moves first here. You can just get there with two plus dodges, can't you? And a GFI. This has got to be better than leaping, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. Hooked up. Base, base, base. Oh man, this is so bad, this tree being rooted. Yeah, when, when you start moving the player, yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> oh yeah, good luck going out. You'll need it to get one win with an ogre team. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's horrible giving away a, a block, a tackle hit on a blodger, isn't it? But at least it keeps his tackler occupied. That route was horrible on the tree. Literally activated him like twice and he rooted on the first one. Ah, she actually standing up again, but still. I don't believe in all of us now. Even though, even though I did quite well with him on Blood Bowl too, and when I say quite well, unbelievably well, um, I always wanted nine. Ooh. Um, yeah, they're, they're really, 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 really bad, aren't they? All this. He hasn't really failed anything either, has he? That's the thing. A lot like. Like, I've been playing high risk, high reward, all, all the way through this half. And he just hasn't really failed anything. Nothing good's come from that, all the high risk plays that I've been doing. Now, no, no, technically I think you're supposed to do the way tricks, but nobody ever enforces having a figure for the app or the coach. Nobody ever, ever, ever enforces it. 
but I like having them. <laughs> that is a catcher base in the ball, I think. Yeah. Oh, lemon is good. Oh, he makes the dodge. How could he roll a three plus? Unbelievable, Jeff. Who knew that pacing the ball wasn't that effective? Shocked. Bretts are still Bretts are still alive. It's just that want to test the uh, the new NAF ladder. There you go. Because the with the new patch coming out, the bug fixes. Um, supposedly it's fixed. So just want to make sure everything is fixed. And uh, there you go. He hasn't got a scoring threat, has he? Has he? Look at this guy. This guy isn't movement 9, is he? <laughs> no, he's not. A movement 8, he'd have to be. Right, so he can't score. Um, right. I can't really get two dice on the ball. But one dice is going to be fairly easy from this guy. And then he could pick it up and pass to the catcher. So. He dodges. He blocks. That canoring threat. He can't even be based by tackle. Right. If I go here, it's very hard to get the chain push on him forward, isn't it? Dodge in's a 75% instead of a 66% lead. Oh, I could have hit from this angle and not have to dodge it. Oh well. <laughs> that, on the other hand, though, if I'd done that, I'd have had to base a mighty blow player instead of a goblin. But yeah, not having a roll. Hmm. Don't really care, to be honest. Oh, yeah, throw a teammate. Yeah, I just didn't even need to do it, though. I should, maybe I should have based with the thrower one dice him but then obviously the one dice would have failed anyway with a with a one to four anyway so. yeah throw teammate shit look at me not knowing about fucking dumb shit with goblins who would have who would have guessed yeah so you can just hand off Go for the so I should have blitzed the goblin as it happened. Should have just blitzed the goblin. No. And got Kaz by the mighty blow anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, if I'd been smart, I would have blitzed the goblin. But everyone said, throw a teammate too late. Oh, animosity fail. Get banged on. The animosity s saved him from the failed catch. <laughs> All right, really stupid, good. This has been a fucking horrible half, hasn't it? To be fair, banged on. Haven't scored. Didn't remove a single armor seven stunty player. <laughs> Do 
Should have got pushed in one direction. No? It was his driveway. But I mean, he is he is underworld. <laughs> oh fuck! There you go. That's why I'm not Inarian. Inarian would have uh, would have got the ball in the crowd. Ball thrown in this direction. Hits him, bounces onto the ward, and so who catches it? Who hands it off to him who scores? Pretty sure. Pretty sure, anyway, that's what would have happened. Yeah, I shouldn't have followed. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a terrible follow. Yeah. But I mean, look, I would have had. The reason that I followed was because I just didn't care. I was only playing for the into the crowd. Because this, would, do I really want to make this leap and this dodge? One, two, three, four, five, and these double GFIs to go for a long bomb? No, a long pass. No. Yeah, exactly as Jelly all says. Yeah. Not without a reroll, no, I don't think. I think the odds were that low of scoring without a reroll. I really just wanted to get in ball and out of bounds, honestly. But I should have gone in diagonally back. But I was re I was purely playing for the four out of bounds. Which you could say was a mistake. But um I think it's only single player can't log on, um, but yeah, they're, they're definitely I've seen an all, all the all, there's a few all star teams, yeah. Um, I think you just have to like play a local game or something. Yeah, but yeah, obviously I shouldn't have followed up. Would have just been like better, wouldn't it? Because then it would have given me the choice of whether to go with the uh, one answer or not. Frankly, playing Blood Bowl in any manner is a mistake, not just playing to the crowd. <laughs> very good, very good, Sudano. Very good. Right. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, the low tier teams have bonuses in this, but um, I still don't think it helps Olders. Obviously it helps them, but you know what I mean, not enough. Not enough to make any fucking difference. Moving a player would be nice, wouldn't it? I had a dream about it once, but that was as close as I got. Playing Blood Bowl is good for you, builds character. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, the Waitrix. Oh, good. I did knock someone over. Go me. Pessimistic. It's true. It's true. It's true. I'm amazed as well. Lemon is good. I'm fully amazed. What what an epic turn that was, wasn't it? Eh. A, loads of three dice blocks. A blitz. Nothing. Blood bowl is a great medical treatment. If you know somebody whose <laughs> blood pressure is too low or doesn't have enough rage issues. <laughs> Thank you, pseudonym. Yeah, he can score. Yeah, three, four, five, six, two, five. It's in a, it's in a tackle zone though, so you know.
No, nah, the troll. No, he could scatter. He could throw. He could throw him from here, and he could throw him. He could. He could go here. There's one on the LOS, so you could technically go into two tackle zones, throw this goblin. One, two, three, four, five, six forward. In fact, he doesn't even. He could throw him. He could throw him. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then he could scatter onto it, and and land in a tackle zone, pick it up, or just land here actually. And then one, two, three, four, five, six GFI. So yeah, he could have done. It probably wasn't even that hard. He's he's gonna try anyway. Oh, he could just eat the goblin. No. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six GFI GFI. So he could have done then if he landed. So yeah, he still can. <laughs> don't know why. Don't know why. <laughs> don't know why. Uh, Jellyl was talking in the past tense. That made me think that he couldn't do it. But <laughs> yeah, he, st he could have done. No, the bug is not still a thing. That is on the fixed list. Ducky. Yeah, this seems good, doesn't it? This seems a standard, standard Jimmy Fantastic turn, really. Do literally nothing on the LOS apart from turning over my own player. Fill the pickup. What a disaster. Never ever lucky apart from all of the times when I am lucky. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? It just, like, this game just makes you remember the double ones, but not remember the double sixes, isn't it? That's the... That's how it works. That mind, on the other hand, obviously. That was amazing, the game, the game with... with the uh, things. Was the last dodge needed? Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I shouldn't have let I shouldn't let Sinai do my path and should I? I like putting him there so that if, if anything failed, it wouldn't be super easy to get a two D. Even though obviously this would have been better in the end. It is very satisfying to dodge through corners with elves. It is, like, it is, to be honest. He's just going to kill the tree, isn't he, this time? but then should be able to score at some point. Oh, banged on. He tried. He failed. He 
got banged on. <laughs> it is Johnny Controletti. It's um, it's the NAF's rules, not mine. Um, and that's what they say. So, who am I to argue with them? Woohoo! I nearly rolled one too. Can't even break a goblin's armor with a tree. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Storm, it's just it's just like you know, like the ladder. Like champion ladder. It's just it's just no no Morgan's Brett's aren't dead, it's just with the new patch coming out today. Um wanna test the test the NAF ladder. And uh yeah. Yeah, exactly, Will King, exactly, yes. I'm sure they know better than me. They've got all the stats, you know, and it all works, so yeah. Yeah, exactly, plus he, he gets a strength three. Then you have a strength three frenzy without a block, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, yesterday, obviously, I was ill yesterday, and then it's the, uh, the because it's the patch, I haven't, I haven't used them. Um, since, since the, since the amazing ducky game. It is like tabletop, there's no TV matching required. Everyone's got the same TV. Well, they don't have the same TV. I mean, it is TV match. So now this is where this is where the uh, the TV plus will be amazing because if like random scrub A, random scrub B, Ducky and me are spinning, random scrub A will play random scrub B, and I will play Ducky because we'll get matched by the TV plus. So this is going to be amazing for the for the TV plus. Very good, right? So he's just gonna block him. He's gonna blitz him. Actually, should have made that block first, maybe. Then could have got further forward, but. I assume in that example, Jimmy Fantastic would be random scrub C. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Zudonim. No, <laughs> no, it's a thing, Smoko. I've, I've, I've always said that the problem with TV Plus is is the progression aspect. You know, you're getting your teams. I'm just gonna take the hit from this fucking troll here. It, it it costs him positionally, doesn't it, to, to just hit the tree. Um, two assists and uses his blitz for the turn. So he's expending a lot of resources to go after this tree that's basically relevant for scoring, which is all I care about now. Um, so yeah, the problem with the TV Plus is is the progression, isn't it? And And that's what kills it, because... You know, I wish I had names for to. I wish I could put names to things that people would know. But you know, I may be a better coach than small man. Exactly, exactly, Ducky, exactly. I I think it would be much better for the stream 
if I, all I played were people on my level. Um, you know, that to me would be, I would enjoy it more and I think people watching would enjoy it more. What I don't want, to, what I don't want to ever play is like, and even then, Everyone is random scrub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Waitrix. Um, and even then, it wouldn't be that bad playing people that, that aren't as good as you but have more TV if they then didn't use that TV to fucking kill your team and pound down your TV more and stuff and make subsequent games that much less enjoyable. You know? Exactly, Jam Toast. Exactly, don't get so mad. Like, you know, when I played uh, Price in in the Champions Ladder one time, where the fucking Rock badly hurt or seriously injured Best Fago before the game even started, like turn one, I lost Best Fago. Um, I didn't even hate it that much because he could have beaten me anyway. So I didn't even care that he, he had got... Well, obviously I cared, but... I didn't care that much that he'd got horrifically lucky before the game had even started because, you know, he didn't necessarily need that luck to win. Um, what really grinds my gears is when it's the only way somebody has a chance in hell of beating you and then everything works for them. I don't even need a full YouTube cage anymore, do I? Splat. Finally an armor break. <laughs> yes! Um... Turn 13, we, oh no, he, he used his apple, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't use his apple there, all right. Second armor break of the game, turn 13. Um. <laughs> That's amazing, Jelly Pally. That's amazing. Yeah, that's the thing, it's horrible when the only chance, like that's why I hate Norse so much, you know? That's why I hate Norse so much, because <laughs> like if I'm playing them with an elf team or well, an agility team then fair enough they can win they can win and you're like okay fair enough um, but when you're using orcs or whatever against Norse you know if you're using a bash team a, <laughs> I'm a nine bash team against Norse then you're like the only way you can beat me is if you dice the living fuck out of me and I fucking hate them for that I hate them for, that's why I hate Norse the most like Skaven are obviously ridiculous. If you don't break Skaven armor, they just wreck you. If you don't break Wood Elf armor, they just wreck you. And that's fair enough because they're good teams. And like Zons, you know, Zons being armor 7 with dodge. Like, I don't mind losing to them so much because you kind of expect to, don't you? And and also losing with Amazons, it's not so bad because, you know, you know, you know you you've got a huge advantage in dodge when it works. So, when people get a few knockdowns against you and break your armor a lot, you can kind of handle it because your armor is seven, so you'd expect that, wouldn't you? Sometimes. Right, I've got to blitz him and keep him in contact. Block him. And then get him around. Could have three players there, there, and there. We could put the assist in there. Why is it catcher? Fuck. 
disappointing. Is it crushed? No. Yeah, it is still surfable. But he's got to make one, two, three dodges and stuff. And also, Johnny Controletta, you may make your uh, your face there. Of low, but what do you want me to do? Might just do go here and just like not score. <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> now well, there you go um. <laughs> there you go Morian Tomo but I don't like, obviously look you mind the, you mind the match up if, if you're Amazons you, you obviously don't like getting matched against dwarves but I think any game when when my Amazons break I don't mind that much because I think fair enough they break sometimes they're armor 7 and that's the price you pay for having a ridiculous team isn't it same with Zons and same with Wood Elves and Skaven. There's games where they break. It's always going to happen. There you go. <laughs> Face him for a turn, get banged on. But there was no real way I could keep the goblins tied up or anything, was there? Yeah, he's going for the uh, three dodges and an uphill block. He's going for the surf. Bastard. Maybe I should have uh, handed off with a, with a war dancer somehow, so it wasn't a war dancer. But it was getting surfed. Man, he hasn't failed a roll, has he? <laughs> All game, he hasn't failed a roll. Makes it pretty difficult. He's my scoring threat, isn't he? So how the fuck does he remain a scoring threat? Like that, I think. I have to, I have to keep it based, don't I? Maybe I should have put him back. I don't know. Oh, there you go. That's how I keep my scoring threat. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the right. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> yeah, a little bit unfortunate, I think, this game. But there you go. It, it, do, it happens, doesn't it? It does happen. The, the sad thing is, this happens. This happens as orcs sometimes.
Oh, thank you, John Toss. Have a look. Slot twenty five. No way. No way. A human female DPS is like the best as well. He might, yeah, he might. I should have prayed to Ducky, but Ducky isn't the god of the Woodells, is he? I should have prayed to Inari. I think right at the back is the perfect spot for DPS on World's Way, Jan Tost. Not for me anyway. Because um Peaks buff anywhere though. So you've got two adjacent. See, Brogon isn't maximised there, is he? Brogon should be swapped to get a better thing. Is this yours? Have you got Mindy? This isn't yours, is it? All oh, right, so Mindy does them two. All right, fair enough. Is that optimal? No way is that fucking dragon optimal. This is not an optimal formation, surely not. But oh yeah, fair enough, Mindy to get them too. Oh yeah, okay. No way is that fucking thing optimal. Oh yeah, I can score. Oh yeah, that's good, isn't it? No way is that little shithead. No way is that event thing optimal. Do I one dice him? It's a three plus. It doesn't seem like a good idea, does it? I can dodge in two dice. I don't know if it's a two plus. Tree's rooted. Two plus into a two D because then I can clear the tackle zone and the tackle can't I? Oh god! Right, three uh, three doesn't even change the pass anyway. The fuck? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Such bullshit. Much wow. <laughs> Thank you, pseudonym. That is that is ridiculous, isn't it? That is just ridiculous. That like you know, I think he, I think to be fair, right? I played very high risk high reward the first half, and he just passed every roll to um, to keep himself in it. So I think now he did. Now stop whining about dice capper. 
<laughs> I do think he had pretty good dice the first half, to be honest. Like, I also had pretty good dice. But me failing dice in the first half wasn't really that bad, whereas him failing dice in the first half leads to him losing the ball and giving up a touchdown, doesn't it? So I think it was more important that he had good dice in the first half. Um... So, and you know, he did. So, like we kind of both had good dice in the first half, I think. But then it's crazy. Like, he, I don't think he really did anything wrong. I don't really don't think he did anything wrong. Um, and yet, would else just roll some dice and win? It's fucking bollocks, isn't it? It's absolute fucking bollocks that Woody's just go like... I've got Fend on manual for the uh, Frenzy. I guess I've got to put Dodge manual for this this turn. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should have... I didn't put them spread out. I should have spread out the LOS. Fuck. Yeah, and it wasn't even that many rolls. Yeah, the worst, the worst was there a fifty percent with a reroll. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy that like, it's Woody's. Yeah, Woody's are just ridiculous. Like he prayed, he prayed, turned, I turned, uh, turned Chinese. Then <laughs> he played pretty much perfectly. Didn't really do anything, like anything properly wrong. I don't think. I would say maybe some moves I didn't agree with or whatever and some things weren't you know like there was not there was no mistakes was there on his on his part there were just maybe things that some people would do differently um and then and then there you go last turn get fucked it made, made the foul which was the right thing to do just didn't break armor and then just got fucked up but then he's, he might get the throw teammate here, you never know. It's why people should hate elves. Though historically, people are fine with wood elves and hate on anything that kills their players. Like dirty player or claw piling on, whatever. That's what gets all the hate. Not not teams that can be reduced to two or three players. Wow, he didn't make, I would have made the GFI to hand off to the other one. Then he gets to throw from a one square forward. I guess it's only one square forward, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. Did he eat him? Oh no, he fumbled. Oh, did he eat him? Not landing. I no, just didn't eat him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, thank God for that. Right, so he's got six, he's got six. Hopefully they don't count after the match. There's no winnings roll this time, which is good. There's no star player points this time, which is good. Um... There are dice rolls. 75% dodges, but they weren't all two pluses. Pickups weren't all two pluses. Um, the pass was a four, wasn't it? Very good, very lucky on GFIs. The catches weren't all two pluses, probably. Um, take routes were pretty bad. Two out of five. <laughs> Stand-ups. Stand-ups weren't that unlucky, but obviously it really feels bad every time you fail a stand-up, even though it's 50-50. Um, so there you go, like the dice weren't even that bad were they at the end of the day. Um, it just it just felt bad. Just because you removed so many players. Um, which was you know, I played an aggressive defense aggressive defence anyway, so him removing players was to be expected. Aha ha! Six. So there you go. So no star player points were added. And um No fan factor has been gained. No money, no star player points. It's absolutely fixed. Res is fantastic and um, it works. 
and the naff is fixed so I can make like some kind of video advertising it and stuff and uh, you know we'll really try to get the naff promoted now and uh, and get people playing in the NAF official ladder and obviously get tournaments going. We'll have to like we'll have to do a we'll have to run a tournament, like a one day tournament, like a, a one day Swiss tournament we'll do. One minute turns and then make sure um make sure we can uh you know get everything uploaded. We will need more admins, yeah. We do need more admins. Um Anyone willing to volunteer would be fantastic. Um, right, so there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.